David, Jenna, and Sarah had been living together for three years now. David and Jenna had both just graduated from college, trying to decide what to do. Sarah was still in college and was wild and often seemed to rule the roost. One evening, the three of them were in the living room, laughing that they should just watch Netflix and chill. The girls had no dates, and David never seemed to get out much. Go get us some popcorn, Sarah said to David. Me? Go get me popcorn. Jenna and I are recovering from our dates falling through. You get it, please, Sarah said. I don't have a date either, he reminded her. Yeah, but you never have a date. No, thanks to you two. What? Don't blame us if you have no game. I have plenty of game, until they find out I have two chicks living here. It's not a selling point for other girls. Yeah, well, what about that girl, Holly? She seemed nice. We know you rocked her world for like three weeks before she dumped you. Jenna chimed in. Fine, I'll go make popcorn, he said shutting the whole conversation down curtly. I have to take a piss anyway. Sarah furrowed her brow and gave David a look as he got up. He wasn't usually so irritated with them. What got up his ass? Jenna said. You, I think I heard he dumped her, Sarah said. And we really don't help things running around in booty socks and t-shirts. Yeah, well, if he'd get off his ass and take the hint, I wouldn't have to dress like a slut all the time. What's your excuse? Wait, are you saying you want David? Maybe. Wait, don't tell me you want him. Ever since I heard how he rocked Holly's world. And he's nice. Nicer than the guys that want to go out with me, anyway. I sort of hoped. You know, I'd put it out there and he'd take the hint. Well, that's the problem with a nice guy, Jenna said. Now what are we going to do? Sarah said. You step off. You're in school another year and I was his roommate first. What? You step the fuck off. How is that fair? Oh, we're going with fair. How is him choosing either one of us fair? Someone gets hurt. The girls sat and watched TV for quite a while before they heard David in the kitchen. Sarah leaned over and looked. David still looked flustered. So she got up and went to the kitchen. Where are you going, Sarah? Jenna asked. To apologize and maybe make it up to him. This is Netflix and chill night. Jenna's brows raised in surprise and watched Sarah strut by. Don't worry, you can have all the popcorn. Sarah teased as she walked away. Like hell, I'm coming with you, Jenna said, following her.